an assistant professor at the University of Dayton in Dayton, Ohio. And I'm originally from uh, near Cleveland, Ohio, and I finished my um, PhD in mathematics from the University of Kansas in 2009. I did an undergraduate in mathematics at, at uh, Miami University in Oxford, Ohio, and um, then came out to Kansas for my PhD in mathematics. I was interested in general topology, and it's a specific area of mathematics, and there are specialists at the University of Kansas, so I came out specifically to work with um, Bill Fleisner, my advisor at the university. So topology is an area of pure mathematics, and um, uh, it's, 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 it's way off on the abstract end of, of, of mathematics. I can give you an example. A topologist um, studies kind of uh, the, the mathematical nature of surfaces, actually. It's not quite accurate for, for, for the mathematics that I do, but um, to a topologist, a, a donut is the same thing mathematically as a coffee cup. I did an undergraduate degree at Miami University and was exposed to some um, areas of mathematics in, you know, in the later years of the, the degree. And at the time, I was interested in applied math, and I was taking applied math courses. But I took my first course in, in topology, um, actually uh, the first year of my master's degree, and just loved it. I mean, it's, it's, it's really kind of um, uh, foundational mathematics. It really gets to the heart of, of what mathematics is, in my opinion. And it's just a lot of fun. So um, I got more and more interested, started getting um, introduced to the community and so on by going to conferences and decided that I wanted to do a PhD. Yeah, I really didn't realize all of the opportunities that were out there as an undergraduate. And again, it was my own fault for not searching. And, and nowadays, you know, there's no excuse because it, there are so many different things um, out there and it's all online. But uh, yeah, there are tons of career paths for undergraduate majors in mathematics, especially if you have some, some programming experience like I did. But um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do and, um, yeah, so it, it was, and I loved math, of course, so um, starting a, a graduate career in math was, was an easy thing for me to do. Um, and then I got exposed to teaching, of course, during my master's, which I realized that I, I liked a lot. I never had, I never had thought that, that I'd be interested in teaching, but, but once I did it for a couple of semesters, I thought, this is not so bad. To me, a PhD in math and a career as a, as a math professor was something that, that seemed just way too hard. I mean, I thought you had to be a genius to do that sort of thing. And it was real. I mean, through my undergraduate um, at Miami, I, I still maintain that that position. I never really thought I was smart enough to do what they were doing. Um, and although they were my role models, um, I, I I didn't until, until I started my master's and really became close with with some of the people at Miami. And and they told me they said, you know, you should consider getting a PhD. I mean, I never thought that I I could do something like that. So um, yeah, I had a, a couple advisors at at Miami. Um, in particular, Sheldon Davis, who, who really, you know, kind of pulled me aside and said, you know, you, you can do this, You're, you, you know, you've got talent, go for it. So then, they, then it seemed more realistic at that point. I know most about the academic professions, and that's, that's what I'm in, but I do know that, uh, you know, there are plenty of, of uh, other opportunities for, for math majors out there. I mean, uh, you know, the government hires uh, mathematicians, um, uh, to do research. I mean, you can do math research out in industry. Ra math research doesn't just happen um, at a university. Um, actuarial science is a big um, area. So you, um, you know, insurance companies uh, hire actuaries. I mean, if you can solve problems, you can do well in, in any different context, right? Um, not just solving math problems, but, but, but solving problems in general. So, so a lot of different companies want problem solvers, thinkers. So that's why I think a math major is a is a good a good thing to have.